Right, so we're going to check out uh, another one of these CD-ROM comic books, and this one's uh, for Eek the Cat, which I don't really remember, but yeah, we're going to... This might refresh my memory, so we're going to have a look at that. And oh, i could do window capture, I think. Yeah, there we go. Fox Kids. Yeah, because I remember Bobby's World, I remember the tick. Didn't watch my cheek the cat, and I had never heard of like um, the other one with uh, Louis Anderson. Guess we'll get some help. Welcome to the help screen. Oh yeah, it just shows you options and shit. Okay, this one's vaguely familiar. Yeah, I kind of remember it. I just don't remember much about it. Um, oh, we can do autoplay or manual. Yeah, we'll do manual. Right, we'll bring it up. Oh, it's a bit bigger panels than last time. Okay. Oh, that's. I thought this whole thing was going to animate. Yeah, God, a lot of that's like, yeah, when you play stuff as a kid, you sort of try to remember if it was real or not. And I'll turn this up a little bit. Yeah, I guess it's exciting. Yeah, I vaguely remember this dog shark thing as well. Kumbaya, England. Oh. Oh, that's that's a little weird. Boy, planes are neat, and I scored a great seat next to this happy man. Oh no, not the gremlins. No. Oh, that's no. cool. How the panel. On the wing. And I go, okay. Something on the wing. Something horrible. Oh. Please look! Am I crazy? Still love that Bugs Bunny cartoon with the, the grandma. I don't see anything. For a while, I was convinced Yo Gabba Gabba was a fever dream until I saw the Dildo Man himself on TV. He certainly Maybe does look like an orange furry dildo, didn't he? Um. Okay. I'll be starting our meal service. Soup's on. <laughs> I must admit, though, if. Yeah, when, when Yo Gabba Gabba happened to be on TV, I would actually sit down and watch it, because, um, Yay! it's just very high-quality production, I'm not gonna lie. Ah! Oh, we're just That's getting... Everyone. Now it's time for my nap. Okay. Yeah, I still legit don't remember what the deal was with Eat the Cat, he was just... Yeah, I guess we're figuring it out now. On the wing, I, I, I saw it. Hmm. Phew, that could have been a disaster. <laughs> what? <laughs> These little extra animations freak me out a little bit. Ah, it drops the landing gear. Wow! Okay, that's, uh... One way to get out of a plane, I suppose. Speaking of fuzzy characters, remember the kids' TV show Booba? No. <laughs> Do not remember that at all. Um, might have just been a, like an American thing. Oh yeah, there was a... vaguely remember this guy. Oh no, that was just the art style. No, it's kind of reminded me of, um, Phineas from Phineas and Ferb. Yeah, I don't remember Booba. Good, because it's a bit horrifying to see as an adult. Okay. Um, I know Matey was showing me, um, Thingo. Uh, did it, did it. Uh, what was he showing me? Oh yeah, old, um, Australian kids TV shows that we were, um, watched growing up. So we had, um... There's one called Round the Twist, um, which was this family, and they got up to weird... They did, like... It, it was all based off this uh, writer called Paul Jennings. Oh, something get auto-modded there, or...? Okay. Um, yeah, Round the Twist was pretty weird. Um, the other one I was watching the other day was... Um, Thingo. I oh, know, sorry, I, I've got um, links blocked. You won't take me 
just as an auto mod thing because I was getting those um, follow up messages all the time. Just link it to me in Discord, mate. <clears throat> Something tells me that wasn't a but yeah, the other show we watched was um, Genie from Down Under, which was strange. Um, this British girl. Um, she had like a magic opal that when you rub it, it summoned Reese Muldoon and a little kid and just yeah basically got unlimited wishes it's a very strange show well we've crashed another alien spacecraft sure did Hank there's only one recovered alien spacecraft left to experiment with if we can't get that baby to fly, Congress will surely take away our secret funding, Jib. They sure will, Hank. They'll divert our funds to their frivolous causes like education, disease research, and social security. We can't let that happen. <laughs> okay, so it's, yeah. A couple little digs at the government here and there. And yeah, these little things open up something extra. The Galileo Project Area 51, working for a better future. Hmm. Uh, what do we got? Tours available if you can find us. Favorite ups. Sorry, my throat's starting to go a little bit. <clears throat> um, yeah. Jet Connects Laboratories. Alright. Oh, that's Galileo Amelia Earhart. Okay. Or all my time spent in hiding will have been for naught. We must find someone somewhere who can figure out these ships. Hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, I need to send me links. Hang on. The controls. Must try. Uh, oh, this is Booba. Okay. Oh, that is terrifying. Okay. Um. Hang on, can we go back to desktop capture? Get rid of that one. Yes, this is Booba, apparently. And that is terrifying. That legit looks like a fat man's uncircumcised penis. Like if all the skin was smushed down, kind of over the ball bag. That's that's terrifying, mate. I am gonna have nightmares tonight. Um. Anyway, back to the <laughs> back to the less freaky story. <laughs> kind of. Well, you showed it to me. Yeah. You have just activated the Zoltarian Death Cruiser's automatic pilot. Oh, Zoltarian Death Cruiser. Okay. Please state your destination. Well, uh, I was on my way to Uncle Vic's castle in England to help clean it. I'm sorry. Uncle Vic's castle is not on our pre-programmed Zoltarian flight path to destroy Earth. Oh. Oh, well, how about just, just putting me back Teletubbies. Yeah, like, they, they, they just Teletubbies, but it, you've left them in the microwave for too long or something. They're a little weird. I'm just disappointed we haven't got a, some more episodes of Bluey. Um, so I've been watching Bluey obsessively. Um, we had a, like a special, they always do, um, yeah, special episodes for big holidays. So they did an Easter one recently. But yeah, I don't think they're back in the main swing of things we yet. reached your destination intact. If you would like to lift off again, press 1. For hyperspace, press 2. And I guess they could only spoof the X-Files because X-Files was on Fox? I must have made a few other things like spoofed. Actually, no. I just realized that. Because they spoofed it on The Simpsons, but Simpsons is owned by Fox as well. Okay. Hello there, Mr. Uh, space Being Person. We uh, mean you no harm. Kumbaya, friendly aliens. Hello to you. How may I help your people? We, uh, wonder if you'd mind talking to, uh, one of our, uh, species. She needs your help. Oh. Can you tell me where you come from? Well, uh, I fell from the sky, I guess. And I sure would like to get back up there. I'm sure you would. I wonder if you'd come with me. We have a few questions for you. Okay. Mr. Um, yeah, because they're still they're using the like creature, the, uh, alien? the X Files oh, theme the as the background music for this one. <laughs> oh, that's right. You space folk like to be called Sky People now. Ah, <laughs> it's it's the '90s, so they got to be politically anyway, correct, I guess. Um, you're only this 
second live sky person we've ever captured, uh, I mean, encountered. Well, you don't fall out of the sky every day. No, you certainly don't, and that's why we are anxious oh, to I'm talk to you. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's, um, Captain Amelia Earhart here. Tenzin Coleman, so the guy who voiced, uh, the tech. I was trying to pick the voices. Uh, I, I mean, actually don't know who uh, the cat was, so I'm just having here. a look now. She'd like to ask you a few questions. Eek the cat. Go right ahead, Mrs. Lady, and please, just call me Eek. Uh, okay, he's voiced by a guy called Bill Cop, who was the co-creator of the show. I'll see you work on Oh, right for Tales of the Crypt. Tales from the Crypt, I should say. I'm still writing stuff now. Oh, like some of the um, later Tom and Jerry movies. Yeah, righto. I have to track down his some some of his stuff. Uh, who else we got? Yeah, Charlie Adler, BG Daly, Dan Castle and Netta. Ooh, Gary Owens, nice. Ah, oh, Brad Garrett too. Adam Goldberg from uh, as in the guy who the show The Goldbergs is based off. Oh, Kurtwood Smith. Uh, okay, man, some good voice actors in this. Um, where were we up to on this? Sorry, I'm, I keep getting distracted by the the, the real All internet. All we ask is the answer to one more space flight question. Okay. Um. Oh, there's an animated. Th oh. Okay, that's weird. Uh, Jib, these continued failures failures are unacceptable. A. E. So Amelia Earhart. So they hang on, that was the Enterprise. What? Oh no, that's an X-wing, and that's the Enterprise. Okay, fair enough. Um. Captured, I um, I mean, made a guest of this young Suvlakian space being. Suvlakian, huh? <laughs> so is he tasty with some um, garlic sauce on him? Gee, you look kind of sad in that cage. No, don't be silly. That's the way his kind likes to live. Well, I was not aware. Hmm. Is this just full to the brim of pop culture? I guess a lot of shows like were like that in the 90s. It's kind of giving me like a more kitty uh, Duckman kind of vibe. Because I, I fucking loved Duckman when I was a kid. Hey, a nifty bike with a sissy bar. I'll show you how this works. <laughs> sissy bar, huh? What the hell is a sissy bar, though? Is that... Okay. What else we got? It's time. All right, Hank. Litter, um, rip. You got it, Jib. Hmm. Kumbaya, that's my cue. Here goes nothing. Is it... Why is he dressed like Speed Racer now? Huh? Where is that stupid sky person? Okay. Here he comes. Over. Bike. So I'm a little oh, confused by this. This person won't fly it, huh? Trying to make me look bad, eh? Oh no, Mrs. Lady. Those babies really fly going downhill, but across the desert in a hundred degree heat is different. Don't worry. We want to know all about them. Oh. We have other ways you can help. That's great, Mrs. Lady. I like your help. Oh, that's that was disturbing. Kind of smushed his head in. Another alien dissection? They're so messy. Can't we wait until after lunch? I oh, uh, oops. Nice. Wait a minute, Hank. Why not just call the Inquirer? Actually, I'm trying to work out if that's Gary Owens or Townsend Coleman, because I just yeah, if it's Gary Owens, um. They do, they do sound very similar, because I, like, um, there's also Garrett Cole who sounds very similar, that's the guy who did, um, Harvey Birdman. <clears throat> um, okay. So, I guess he's... Oh, here we go. I think we're working towards a, um, E.T. spoof. That would, uh, yeah, I don't know if they've got the voice cast in the credits for this specific thing, though. Maybe if I find the episode itself, we can have a look. Um, oh, there's 77 episodes, though. Holy dooly. Alright. Let's see if we can get one of these playing while I'm looking. Yes, good old Harvey Birdman. I watched that again recently. 
I did enjoy that. Ah, uh, yep, yep. Gets the blanket. And therefore, you know, wrapped up like E.T. Oh, that's terrifying. What's with these little extra animations, So, Yeah, that was the other thing. Because, yeah, Gary Owens was the original Space Ghost in the 60s. Oh, we got him now. They can't get away. And then they redid it. And he was also, um, Panda Toast Man. Okay. Oh, what? Okay, that's, that's a little weird. Uh, Area 51 blunder. Government pond is cutting secret space funding. Elvis refuses to return from Venus. Oh, okay. That was, that was a little weird. I must admit, I haven't seen Space Ghost Coast to Coast itself. I've seen, um... The Brack Show, which was a spin-off. Um, I'm just going to have a look to see if I can find the episode. Um, bears in the Hood. Okay. Halloween, Cape Fur, Hawaii. Great Balls of Fur. Wonderful Nine Lives. Here's a fun little tidbit. Malta, one of the Space Ghost arch enemies was the first host of Toonami. Okay. So what, before Tom? Um, because I've met Tom, that's Steve Bloom. Uh, he's who's done like, you know, hundreds of bloody, uh, thingos. Hundreds of voice roles. Oh, okay. He did Maltar as well. Righto. Uh, are they actually spoof Apocalypse now at some point? Wow. Okay. Tom succeeded him as the host. Okay, okay. Yeah, there seems to be a lot... Like, just the episode names, there seems to be a lot of references to, like, um... 60s and 70s pop culture. As I mentioned, yeah, there's there's an episode called... What was it? Quad Quadrupedia, which is a spoof of Quadrophenia, which was an old, like, um... <clears throat> movie with, like, music from The Who. Oh, wow. Okay. No, we'll, we'll keep going on this. Hey, Mr. Space Pal. Thanks for giving me a lift back to my airplane. Be good. Yeah, no, I like Steve Bloom. He was pretty laid back. Pretty cool. Very straight edge, Bye. though. Didn't drink or smoke or anything. Weird that he doesn't smoke, too, because his voice sounds like he eats gravel for breakfast. These are the continuing voyages of the space ship. And Tom's an acronym. Okay. Our minute mission is to stare at weird wiggly things. To run away from squishy things we don't want to touch. Oh, now they're and just straight up spoofing no Star Trek. Star Trek. Okay. Well, that's a little weird. Was that it for the, um... Toonami Operations Module? Okay. Oh, now he's just imagining he's in, um, Star Trek. Okay. What's going on with this thing? When we received an urgent communication. The Arano. Oh, it's just a really fat cat. Tom is an AI himself. Okay. I believe someone may be trying to communicate with us. Ensign Elmo, you're breaking up. We can't hear you. Is there anything you can do to come in clearer? You betcha. Huh. I said there's been an accident. Sheesh, have you lost your hearing? A Sharktarian warship is blown up. Huh. Kumbaya, Sharktarians. Evil shark dog space pirates and friends of no one. It's just stupid thing give me enough time we'll to drink. Right and he's gone through different incarnations over the years. Yeah, I didn't see much Toonami because um, it's on pay TV over here and I didn't have many friends with pay TV. Um, okay. Cool and Mrs. Sharkarian Emperor Sharky. You don't look so well. What happened out there? Is this meant to be spoofing, like, Captain Kirk? The fact that he, like, put on heaps of weight in the production? His worship says we had our ship destroyed by a neutron blast that came Oh, that's Cam Clark. That that's definitely Cam moon. Clark. Moon? What moon? That moon. That's no moon. The smiley face of some sort. Oh, it is a big smiley face. Okay. Kumbaya! It's a happy face! Funnily enough, 
Tom One was not voiced by Steve Bloom. Steve Nobody became the voice of Tom once the second incarnation took over. Okay. Yeah, that was probably the way to work it. Like, if they did have to recast him, they just, yeah, make him a new incarnation, kind of like Doctor Who. But yeah, no, the Steve Bloom did it for like nearly, uh, yeah, it would be at least 20 years now, wouldn't it? Find out what kind of space beams we're dealing with. Come on! Yeah, no, I'm actually intrigued. I, I kind of want, want to track the show down again. According to my weird device, this is a white dwarf super fusion planet popper bomb. A temple device capable of blowing up every planet Been Steve in the from Tom 2 all the way to like the present Tom 6.9. Okay. But I can assure you guys we're not in any danger. Well, how do you know that, Raven Sinolo? Yeah, I definitely miss, uh, like, I know well, everything's gone woke, and apparently, um, Adult Swim and Cartoon Network's been included uh, in I that. I think I left the coffee maker on. But yeah, mid, mid, like, 2000s to late 2000s, Adult Swim was just top-notch. There's some good shit on that. It's you, Star Commander Bajer! Hmm. Are they going all fanboy? Well, well. That's that's weird. Anyway. How wonderful you'll be joining me to witness the end of life in the universe as we know it before you too are sent to your doom. Is that actually <laughs> kinda sounds like chat now? Why? Boy, everything I know I learned from you. Star exploring, communications techniques. Space battle strategy, intergalactic languages, place setting, survival on uninhabitable planets. Tsunami itself has oh, a fair yeah. bit of war to it. Oh, okay. Oh, stop it, will you? That was just a stage I was going through. Oh, uh, I was not aware. Okay. So, uh, if you don't mind my asking, sir, why did you blow up Sharky's death cruiser? It's really very simple, Captain Eek. The Sharktarian cruiser was docked in the launch path of my white dwarf planet popper missile. You see, Captain Eek, yeah, I kind of want to find the episode now, because I don't think it's Shatner, but it's a very close approximation. Called hmm. We'll start a solar system domino effect. Oh, oh, we get some movie. Okay. One, each neighboring planet, moon, and sun blows up in a horrific fashion, similar to popcorn. Coming. Oh, that, that doesn't sound good. One push of that button, and it's over. You hear me? All of it. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, uh, if you don't mind my asking, Commander Berserk, why would you want to destroy the universe? You're sworn to protect the star system, to love the galaxy, to fight any evil who may want to hurt our beautiful solar system. What evil? <laughs> Those days are over, pal. Don't you get it? The whole universe is wallowing in political correctness. There's no one to hmm. blow up anymore. <laughs> That's the issue. Okay. No, please. Fair enough. Let me go. Must stop this insanity. Must pop the solar system. All I, ask I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, Commander like if Jack. I had the opportunity to blow up the universe to get rid of political like correctness, I probably would too. Starfleet Academy Code of Conduct. Hidden video caught on tape despite Captain Berserk's high honors and many accolades, he remains Starfleet's best model of how not to be a good interstellar diplomat. Ambassador Schlock. You can't call those stupid jiggly jubian jiggle bottoms and just blow them into the next millennium for no other reason than they got six legs and truly enjoy jazz fusion. I can't go to Quadrant 6 and Nucleo Photon blast a couple of those Planktanians simply On these times you should watch The Intruder. It showcases how Tom 1.0 was destroyed and got his next souls. body. Okay. Thinking boring universe's inner child needs a hug. Well, I'm all hugged out, pal. This space warrior's a fighter. Run along, pal. Unless, of course, the right dame comes along. <laughs> okay, that's... Yeah. Good. Galaxies, Captain Eat, you're right. What was I thinking? I lost all touch. I must have had too much coffee. I wasn't making any sense, but you brought me back before I did something so incredibly stupid. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> What's all the crying about? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the old 
red shirt. Yeah, you were. I imagine you would have grown up with Toon Army. So if we, did we blow up the universe? Is that what's going on? Ah, yes we did. Um, okay. What have I done? There's gotta be a way to stop that missile! <laughs> Just wave it goodbye. It's funny. Well, we come up with two differing theories on how to prevent the missile from detonating and destroying the entire universe. That's right, Hank, and you, Mr. Uh, Captain Kitty Cat, sir, must choose which um, brilliant theory will save the universe. Hmm, differing theories, you say? Well, whose differing theories are these, Mr. Uh, Men? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's still on Cartoon Network. <laughs> He's trying to shield you an army now, Anchor. Every Saturday night at 11 p.m. on Cartoon Network. In order to beat the Planet Hopper <laughs> missile to the other side of the galaxy, you and Ooh. Tiffany must pilot a super- It's ugly, like look at you, it's a hey, damn shame. Just remember all caps when you spell the man name. Take some BZ's bucks. Thanks, thanks bud. Have that sub for one. Appreciate it. Very cool. Yeah, what are we doing? We're okay. playing... I need two other brave We've been finding these, like, um, interactive comics the of, uh, the Fox Kids right. franchises. Mm, and this one's Eat yeah, the Cat. Party somewhere or something. I, hmm. I'll go too, doggone it. This is all my fault. Yeah, because I definitely remember, like, the shark dog thing. I just, I, I remember almost nothing about the show. I kind of want to go... Oh, you heading off to work, mate? No, I thanks for coming along anyway. Go, I'm doing well, Des. I'm doing very well. I thought we'd start a little bit early, because, um... Be lost without you. Yeah, I, I, I checked up on, um, kind of what time it is over there. And, um, it does seem to get a bit late by the time I start at, like, lunchtime. What is it time now? Um, seven o'clock. Yeah, it's like eight o'clock for you guys. I'm like, that's... Yeah, no, thanks for coming along, Anchor. Appreciate it. Yeah, 8pm for you guys. Oh yeah, I just realised you two are fairly, like, kind of close to each other. Because it's, um, Durs, you're in, uh, Wisconsin and Anki, you're in Minnesota, I believe. So not, like, I know it's a few states over, but relatively close. Closer than I am to you guys, at least. Oh, and now they're spoofing, um, 2001 A Space Odyssey. Yeah, there you go. How about that? Beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, oh the states are, yeah, yeah, I should have known that. But yeah, I, I do, like, I would actually really love to check out that area at some point. Like, Great Lakes. It just seems a bit more interesting there, than the rest of the, um, rest of the country. Good old cheese country, Share yeah. We three, We've got, um, uh, I've been listening to, like, the classic radio station at, um, work a fair bit, and they've been going on about, um, they're doing these, like, um, dream holidays where you go and watch, um, some famous oldies live in concert, and... The one I really want to see, I think it was Paul McCartney in New York. And they're chucking in, um, you can go to Nevada, Nevada to see, um, Paul Notes. Here comes the planet popper missile! They had big here. ones, they were like, I think Backstreet Boys in Milan, um, someone in London. They had like ten, like, packages that you sort of do to go and watch these, um, oh yeah, Rolling Stones were in there somewhere. Yeah, it just sounded like a cool promo, but it's one of those ones they're going to shill over the next couple of months, and then we, I imagine, it'll be hard to get onto. We really got distracted this time around, like, a, yeah. We're supposed to be talking about this stuff, but yeah. <laughs> What's the name of this one? This is Eek the Cat. Some old Fox Kids show from the 90s. I vaguely remember it, but I don't remember much about it. But I'm actually intrigued. I actually want to go back and find um, 
some more stuff about it. Oh. Yep, direct uh, X file spoof now. Where are you? Scully, what is it? Uh. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I finally I believe, believe in aliens. I <laughs> oh, we got an actual another file here. Kumbaya, it never hurts to help. Oh, we got a little sing along. It's time. Who the hell is this slide, though? I guess these are people who work on the show. Here goes nothing. Kumbaya. And they just oh, they're literally spoofing um the Live Aid, you know. We are the world thing. We can't let that happen. I fell from the sky, I guess. I actually did play that on the radio the other day, which weirded me out. Oh, I'll tell you that. I know I'm getting old now. So the classic, we got like a classic music station we listen to at work. It's called Gold 104. And... You know, you like I, I've been listening to it for like 20 years now, and I realise the um, the classification of classic music has been changing. Um, it's worse now because they actually play. Um, was it "Bring Me to Life" by Evanescence? That is now on like the classic music channel. Just, yeah, I know I'm getting old. That's for damn sure. Oh, no. we'll, we'll leave that. Oh yeah, many eyed alien. And is that is that it? Oh yeah, there we go. The end. Okay. Oh that was Oh and we're right back to the start again. Alright, um Yeah, let's let's finish up. We're we're pretty much done with this. Oh yeah, Macromedia. I actually like in the um little theme song they came up with on this one. And yeah, so we've done Bobby's World, we've done The Tick, the, so the last one is Life with Louie, which I never heard of because it was based off um, Louis Anderson, the comedian who passed away recently. I only ever knew him from, like, um, what's his face? Uh, Coming to America. Uh, the Ex Files, that's the actual episode. Okay. Alright, no, I'll see what I'm... Oh, there's two. They, we actually had two episodes for this one. I'm watching Death Sandals video, by the way. That's that's who the, the person is. So if you want to watch a full playthrough, Death, Death Sandals.